In this video, we're going to show how to count, sort, or limit documents in a collection. So in SQL, we would say select count star from a table to be able to see the total number of records that are returned. In MongoDB, we would say db.collection.count. We could have our filtering criteria inside of those parentheses, just like we have on this next one, where we have db.collection.find, and then there's the filtering criteria, and then the dot .count. So we can either use count before or dot .count after. So for example, if I wanted to see the total number of customers in the customer collection, I'd say db.customer.count. If I wanted to see the total number of customers located in New York, I could say db.customer.count, and then address.state is New York. So we're back at the web server. I'm going to go ahead and run this first query. This is going to show that there are 14 total customers. And then I'm going to run the second query, which is going to show that there are four customers that are located in New York. To sort documents in SQL, we would use the order by clause to be able to sort by a specific column name. In MongoDB, we just add to the end of our find dot sort and then specify the field that we're interested in sorting between curly brackets. And then we'd use one for ascending and negative one for descending. So for example, if I wanted to show all customers sorted by the customer state in ascending order, I'd say db.customer.find and then dot sort by the address.state in ascending order using the one. So we're back at the server. I've copied this query over. I'm going to go ahead and run it. And if I look at the actual states that are returned, you will see that they are in ascending order, starting with California and moving in ascending order. To limit documents in SQL, specifically MySQL syntax, we would use limit and then the number of documents that we wanted to return and skip, which would allow us to skip a certain number of documents and then limit the total number of documents we want to return. In MongoDB, if we only want to return one document, we'd say db.collection.find1. If we wanted to return documents by using the limit and skip criteria, we'd say db.collection.find and then limit the number of documents that we want to return, and skip would allow us to skip a number of documents before limiting the total that are returned. So if I wanted to show the first document in the customer collection, I'd say db.customer.find1. If I wanted to show customers who are located in Florida, New Mexico, or New York, and then display only five documents after skipping the first one, I'd say db.customer.find, address.state is in Florida, New Mexico, or New York, and then I'd limit five records after skipping the first one. So here we're back at the server. I'm going to run both of these queries, though so the first one is find one, and we see that the first customer has been returned. The second query I'm going to go ahead and run, and you'll see that we have five customers that we returned. It did skip the first one. Just to demonstrate this, I will run this query again. And we can see, yeah, that contemporary casuals was not returned because it was skipped with that skip criteria. So now I want you to practice a few. So do two, five, and seven on your own. You can do one, three, four, and six, but we're not gonna go over them in this video. So pause this video, try these on your own, and then come back to compare your answers. Okay, so here we're at the server. We're going to go over these questions. So show the total number of people older than 50. So we'll do db.person, and instead of find this time, we're going to use count for people older than 50. We're going to add our filter criteria. Inside of here, we're going to filter age, and we'll put another set of curly brackets. And inside of here, we're going to look for those who are older than, so that's going to be greater than, and then we'll put 50. So I'll go ahead and run this query, and we see that there are four people older than 50. This next query asks us to show English and American people that are male and then sort by nationality in a descending order and then by first name in ascending order. So we're going to do db.person.find and in our filter criteria we're going to look for nationality that is in. So we'll make sure that the in is inside a curly bracket and then we're going to look for English and American inside of square brackets. I then am going to continue with this criteria because we're also interested in only those with a gender of male. And then we're going to sort these by nationality. Make sure you have the curly brackets in descending order, so that's negative 1. And then by first name in ascending order, so that's going to have 1. So we'll go ahead and run this query. And we can see that the nationality is American or English. It is sorted by nationality in descending order, so that's why English is showed up first and then by first name in ascending order, and that's why we started with Arnold, then moved to James, then to Tony. For this third query, it asks us to show the third and fourth document for people who are English or American actors. So rather than reinvent the wheel, I'm going to just copy from the previous query. We are still interested in nationality in English or American, so that's good. 
We are then also interested in those with an occupation of actor. So I'll change gender to occupation and M to actor. And then what I want to do is just return the third and fourth document. So I'm going to limit it to two documents. And then I want to skip the first and the second document. So I'll skip two documents. And we'll go ahead and run this query. And we can see that these are English and American actors only. They are the third and fourth record that would be returned. If I remove the skip criteria, you'll see that we get completely different actors that are returned.